Good day, learners. Welcome to week seven. Music. For this week's lesson, we will discuss the music of the 20th century and its relative art forms. Our objective for this week is to know the different techniques in singing by Chuck Gilmer. We'll also learn to understand the difference of chant music, electronic music, and minimalist music. You will also appreciate the 20th century music through listening which will be given to you by your MAPIT teacher in your online or offline team lesson. Different Techniques in Singing by Chuck Gilmer First, we have excellent speech. This refers to how high or how low a specific note sounds to the human ear. Pitch is the frequency of the vibration as they go through in a sound wave, just like what you see on the picture on the right side. For us to know better pitch easily, here is an example for us to understand. Excellent pitch may refer to the faster vibration which reflects higher pitch, just like this sound. Or, it may be a lower vibration which may reflect as a lower pitch, like this sound. Remember that when pitch is applied in a musical instrument, it denotes musical sounds and can be called as notes. Notes can represent the pitch and the duration of the sound in a musical notation. Second is bridging, the transition of singing from chest to head voice. This will help you to sing without cracking or breaking and sound as one and increase upper range significantly. The purpose of the bridge is to make a gradual pull to the next section of the song without any clashing. It can have any texture as well and it can let the listener know that something is about to change in a song. Keep in mind that the bridge is only made to link two sections together. The third technique is vocal cord adduction. This means your vocal cords come together appropriately for the demands of your song. The picture of our vocal cords can be seen on the right side of the slide. So what is adduction in singing? Vocal cord adduction means that your vocal cords actually shorten, thus leaving less of the vocal cords vibrating as you sing. As there is less area of vocal cord vibrating, it's much easier for the chords to vibrate faster. Fourth, we have sing with a blend of head and chest voice. This enables your voice to have a chesty quality even though you are singing with both head and chest voice simultaneously. It adds strength and presence to your head voice. So your voice while singing can come from your chest or it can be in your head, or it can be a mix of your head and your chest bone. Fifth, we have singing with confidence. If it looks like easy to do, then you are confident. It is a result of technique so comfortable and free to tell your story. Now that you know the five times of singing technique, of Chuck Gilmore, you may now test yourself. Answer the Omojo Week 5 music of the 20th century and its relative art 4. Once done, 
you may submit your output to your map to teacher via FB Messenger. Now let's continue to the music of the 20th century. We have chance music, electronic music, and minimalist music. Chance music, also known as aleatoric music, which refers to a style which the piece always sounds differently at every performance because of the random technique of production. It includes the use of ring modulators or natural elements that become part of the music. Most of the sounds emanate from the surroundings, both natural and man-made. Chance music is being popularized by John King. He liked to call his music indeterminate music, which means that not all of it was determined or decided ahead of time. Some of it was decided by chance. That's why it is called chance music. This was followed by electronic music. It uses electronic techniques to record, synthesize, process, and analyze musical sounds, a practice which came into modern form in the years of 1948 to 1952, but whose technological means and artistic use have been undergone several revolutions since then. Nowadays, most electronic music is made using computers, and this module will focus exclusively on what we call computer music but which should really now be called as electronic music using computers. Electronic music is the ability again to, to use synthesizers, amplifiers, tape recorders, and loudspeakers to produce different sounds. Mostly it uses tape recorders and music that uses tape recorders is called music concrete or concrete music. There are several composers that popularize electronic music. They are Edgar Varese, also known as the father of electronic music. Karl Heinz Stockhausen and Mario Davidovsky. Lastly, we have minimalist music. Minimalist music was born in the late 1960s and can be associated with a group of American composers classified as minimalist. However, the origins of minimalist music can be traced to the total surrealism music of Webern, whose music was based on the mathematical control of the musical elements. Minimalist music consists of cells, which are looped at shifting time intervals. This creates hypnotic quality to the music as the cell shifts in and out of the pace with each other. One way of thinking about minimalist music is the musical comparison of splitting the atom or analyzing the DNA chain. Minimalist music could almost be described as molecular. Great! Your MAPI teacher will let you hear music of different composers in your feedbacking. These are the composition of Edgar Baris, which is the father of electronic music, Carl Stackhausen, and Mario Davidovsky. Let us now hear their awesome music in your feedback. You are greatly a good listener. Now test yourself by answering the DO module 6, week 6, entitled the 20th century music, chance music, electronic music, and minimalist music post test. Once done, you may submit your answer to your map teacher via FB Messenger. You may access our answer sheet in our map 10, school year 21 to 22. You may also visit our page for other learning materials and videos every week for additional information. Remember that you need to pass your output via FB Messenger until Friday. We are hoping that enough time given is a lot in doing the said activities. 
Thank you for listening and for watching. Again, take care and God bless. Stay connected and be updated. Thank you, learners.